ancient India's contribution to mathematics was astounding. It was the land of the Aryabhatas, Bhaskaras, and Sangamagrama Madhavan. It discovered the decimal and the zero, the most brilliant modern link to this great Indian mathematical tradition was Srinivasa Ramanujan. Life cut short by poverty and ill health, Ramanujan became one of the world's greatest mathematicians before he died at 32. Even without any formal training in mathematics, Ramanujan worked wonders in the science of numbers and pure mathematics. Ramanujan was born in 1887 at Erode, then in the Mysore kingdom, to a poor Tamil Brahmin family. His father, Kupaswami Srinivasa Iyengar, was a textile shop clerk in Kumpakonam in Tanjavur district of Tamil Nadu. His mother, Komala Tamal, was an occasional temple singer. Ramanujan's mathematical skills became famous even while he was in school at Kumpakonam. By 16, the child prodigy knew by heart all the 5,000 theorems in the classic on pure maths penned by G.S. Carr. But everything turned upside down when Ramanujan reached college. He could not concentrate in any other topic other than mathematics. He failed in all except mathematics. It became impossible for Ramanujan to acquire a degree and he was highly depressed. By that time, he also got married to Janaki and a job became essential to ward off starvation. Finally, he got a job as a clerk in the Madras Port Trust with a monthly salary of Rs. 20. But every minute he was not attending the office, Ramanujan kept writing up mathematical equations and theorems he arrived at mainly through intuition and induction. Ramanujan's big break came when his brilliant paper on the Bernoulli numbers was published in the Indian Mathematical Society Journal. His genius became known in Madras mathematical circles. Helped by some professors, he kept sending his papers to scholars abroad. Finally, G. H. Hardy, the famed professor at Trinity College, Cambridge, was highly impressed with his work and was stunned by the natural mathematical skills of the young man who was not even a graduate. Thus began a great friendship and academic collaboration. Persuaded by Hardy to break his Brahmin bar on crossing the sea, Ramanujan set sail to London on March the 17th of 1914. From then on, it was one roller coaster academic ride for him together with Hardy and his colleague John Littlewood at Trinity. The other two provided the ballast of proof for Ramanujan's unproven yet path-breaking insights. Many published papers later, Ramanujan became, at 31, one of the youngest and the second Indian to be a fellow of the exalted Royal Society in 1918. Soon, he also became the first Indian to be elected the Fellow of Trinity College. He was compared to mathematical greats like Euler and Jacobi. But by that time, he was felled by a chronic disease he was suffering from for long which was then diagnosed as tuberculosis. Ramanujan was forced to return to India and he died a year later. The nation celebrates his birthday on 22nd December as a National Mathematics Day.